You got that little speed freak junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil. Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Harlan being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Junior's a dirty, backstabbing piece of shit. Go get him. Somebody better be fucking with me. Fuckers, come! Jesus Christ! Don't take my time. Cover my ass! I got that son, bitch. Run, Gonna put you down, down son! Moon Jay, run! Get him from the other side! Wake him in half. Heading for cover. He's cutting us down. Him. Cover my ass. That boy is mine.
I see him! There he is! I think... I spotted him! <sighs> you see him? I see you. You at a crossroads, Junior? You can come work for me? Or... I ain't fine. Now get the fuck off me. Sure thing. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick Four? Yeah, okay. But if you're asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road was set not on in the here and now. The 
Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. Just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color. Hey there, Mr. Clay. We got this place under control. We're gonna run it nice and smooth. Plenty of money to be made. not getting any more cargo out to Cuba. Good. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece of shit, Holland.
Ah. Hope I'm not out of line here, Pops. But we shouldn't be working with those communist fucks. Ah, uh, damn. The same color as everybody else's. Uh, don't change the fact that Cuba. <laughs> Let you keep doing what you're doing. Okay, fine. I'll work with you. Real happy to hear that, Pops.
If we're gonna hold Tickfall Harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Okay, my boys are gonna come over and make sure it's all nice and locked down. But I ain't doing it as a favor. I expect you to look out for me. Remember, we're supposed to take down Marcano together. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Hey, Lincoln, gotta warn you. The next motherfucker who says to me it's not the heat, it's the humidity, he's gonna eat to a straw for a year. Fuck it. Vito says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey, and a friend of Vito's is a friend of mine. Be there like this split. Your money's always safer with me, Shay. Better not lose this. Bonsoir, Shay. I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean it's gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I take care of you and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. 
Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> Fence. Takes 15. Shit, all right. Those ginned up assholes gotta sleep. You don't strike me as a Steven old type. Watch it, you fuck off. Yarn. Huh? Got no need for colors around here.
to anyway. The guy challenges Frank to a race for pink slips, but the asshole turns pussy. Doesn't show. <coughs> and that's his call? Huh? I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later.
Looks like the place. Where I heard something. Ah. Over here! He's over here! In my sights, motherfucker! We're dropping like fucking flies! Did anything to you? Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Here you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of the robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. Fuck! I've spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. There 
are, lad. Looking forward to seeing where this shade goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Well, hear this, Lankin. You can make any final decisions you want to make, but splitting the action in one of these districts between my men and theirs ain't happening. This turf comes to me. White boys are your problem. Jesus, shut the fuck up. My guys aren't down there boozing with the neighbors or igniting some kind of race war. They're making money. For you. That's all that matters. So forget all this hippie bullshit and let's get to work. Ain't too late to change your mind, lad. I can handle both rockets without any of the bitching these two got going on right now. You start dangling territory in front of me and then snatch it back. This agreement we had, it ain't gonna last. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. You know I can handle this. What's the word? We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. I'm towing the line, Lincoln. That's got to mean something. Don't let some white boy rush you. Take your time. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. My fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. Why the fuck are you calling my men to a part of the city you not gonna give them? As for me, I'll be biding my time and waiting for one of you assholes to fuck up. Fair warning. <laughs> We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Look, I gave you some names, and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates.